My name is Tony Baltrin, and I was a player for Real Salt Lake and the U.S. men's national team. When I was a kid, my favorite books to read were The Berenstein Bears by Mr. and Mrs. Berenstein. Today, I'm excited to read My Name is Gabito to you in celebration of United Way's Read Across America Day. So put your listening ears on, and here we go. Can you imagine a shipwrecked sailor living on air and seaweed for eight days? Can you imagine a trail of yellow butterflies fluttering their wings to songs of love? Can you imagine gold and silver fish swimming in air? Once, there was a little boy named Gabito who could. This little boy would become one of the greatest storytellers of all time. Gabito was born in the magical town of Aracata, Colombia, and his imagination was just as big and great and wild as the thickest jungles and highest mountaintops of Colombia. To Gabito, the world was a magical place. He grew up in a little house with his big family and, according to his grandmother, a strange and mysterious ghost. Sometimes little Gabito would imagine the ghost lady gliding through his house and rocking the empty rocking chair in the family room. Back and forth, back and forth. Gabito never sat in that rocking chair because he didn't want to squish the ghost. Gabito's imagination was big. Gabito also lived with an amazing hundred-year-old talking parrot named Lorenzo the Magnificent. Lorenzo would make up stories of his own, just like Gabito, and sometimes his stories turned out to be true. One day, Gabito listened to Lorenzo tell a story about a big, angry bull getting loose. Imagine his surprise when a big, angry bull ran right through his kitchen. Maybe, Gabito thought, Lorenzo the Magnificent had magical powers. Gabito's imagination was wild. Gabito's favorite person in the whole world was his grandfather, Nicholas, who had a giant dictionary filled with many amazing words. From this dictionary, Gabito learned that magic is not just for witches, that gypsies are wanderers with a taste for adventure, and that words can be big and great and wild too. The more words Gabito learned, the more stories he told. Each day after breakfast, Gabito and his grandfather put on matching Scott plaid hats and walked through the town of Aracata holding hands and smelling the jasmine flowers. The two of them would walk happily towards the cafe where they met his grandfather's friends for lunch. His grandfather always let him dip his hands into the pitcher of water and lift out the cold and crunchy ice cubes. The more people Gabito met, the more stories he told. Sometimes Gabito and his grandfather walked past the big banana plantation at the edge of town. He saw how hard the people in the banana plantation worked picking fruit. Even to little Gabito, it didn't seem fair that those who worked so hard were so poor, and this made Gabito sad. He tried to imagine a world where no one was poor, and where everyone could sit with their grandfathers under the shade of a tree, holding hands and crunching ice. The more things Gabito saw, the more stories he told. Under the hot sun, Gabito grew tall. He learned that ghosts were real, that parrots sometimes speak the truth, and that not everything, even in this magical world, is fair. Most importantly, he learned that he loved stories. He loved hearing them, reading them, telling them, and writing them. He loved creating worlds where the impossible was possible, where dreams were true, and where people could float and fly. The more stories he wrote, the more he wanted to write. When Gabito grew up, he wrote the most exciting stories in the world. His stories were magical and amazing, but just as real as you or me. Can you imagine what kind of stories Gabito told? Close your eyes and see. Can you imagine a man with enormous wings falling from the sky? Can you imagine the most beautiful woman in the whole world? Can you imagine flying through the air on a magic carpet? If these stories sound magical, it is because they are. And they were written by the boy called Gabito, who grew up to be Gabriel Garcia Marquez, the great storyteller, read by millions, loved by all. But Gabito never forgot the parrot and the bull, the jasmine flowers and the banana workers, and the dictionary full of wonderful words. People on all seven continents read his stories and love them and discover just how magical and big and great and wild the world can be. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed the book and keep reading.